Hey guys, it's Lindsay with Mama Schmooze Reviews. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing with you guys a toddler binder. And a lot of you guys love to see what I put in my toddler binders, and I have a lot of requests to do it. This is a good old five star flex binder. As you can tell, it's pretty flexible and very durable for a toddler and I love it and we've used it for quite some time now as you can tell. <laughs> I have a little pencil pouch to put all of his manipulatives or like a dry erase marker. This is his um, sister's. I have to find him a boy one soon. Um, so that's what I am using for like a pouch. And then on the first page we have the shapes, the months of the year. We have a song and we do the seasons and then learning his little colors on the side and the coin identification, and we wouldn't be working with that, and then the days of the week. This is something that usually you wouldn't share, um, I don't know, a lot of maybe three and a half year olds might not do, but my son is really, really um, interested in coins. He always takes the coins from my husband's um, nightstand and uses them, so I thought that'd be a fun little activity for him to take a penny and match it up. That might be a little a fun way to use the coins that he steals from my husband's nightstand. Um, this is laminated. Um, I don't have anything on the other side, but I this was for my daughter, and now it's for my son. So he's she's graduated, now he's using her stuff. This is a poem that we've been using for a while called Up in the Tree, and it's a fun poem to do a little action with, and we all love it here in our household. It's super fun. And then we have a little creation poem. All of these things can be found online. I do not have the little websites on the bottom. My printer at the beginning was like cutting off the bottom. So if you just put creation poem on Google, I'm sure you could find a poem like this. And this will just be a good refresher to talk about the seven days of creation. And it's a really like pretty little picture. Then this is another review of the the months of the year and we could talk about the snow and the weather that he sees in all of these pictures and this one's just been something that we've had forever and I think it's from meetpenny.com oh this right here so I will try to link that down below so you guys know this is from abcmouse.com and this is for like his play-doh he could put play-doh on here he could put pom-poms on here he could trace it with his finger or use a dry erase marker, which he absolutely loves. And I like that they have the name thing here. He's just now starting to learn to write his name. So that's fun. And he knows how to write the one. He's been practicing. So now he's on the number two. And you can count the two little pumpkins, the two dots. And you can use your fingers and then identify which number it is. So just something super simple with math. Now, one of our goals for the spring, because he has an incentive, is to memorize or identify the numbers. He knows how to count to like 25, not perfectly, but he doesn't know how to like say, oh, this is a one, this is a four, this is a six, maybe some, but not all the way up to 10. So he is excited to learn these numbers and he's going to get a Paw Patrol book when he learns all the numbers. And I thought this was cute. We just used, this was a Dollar Tree workbook that we worked on. We put stickers on them, as you can see. He placed all the stickers on them himself. <laughs> That's cute. So I thought it was fun because it was something we worked on together and it's so, so colorful. I really like the colors. This is from the Dollar Tree um, workbook that I got in my last Dollar Tree haul, and I thought this was simple, that he could do it himself, and he can count one, two, and then take the number two and bring it over to the shoes, and um, he might know these numbers. I'm not sure, but we'll see, and maybe have him do it, or I could do it along with him. I also have the um, Spanish way of the Spanish sheet from abcmouse.com. And we could talk about cabeza and ojos and boca. And my my husband and I have been teaching them like the face and all of the features on the face and how to say it in Spanish since they're little babies. So that'll be a good way to review it with him. Um, he's heard it a lot, so this will be just something to go over with him so he can actually learn them like his sister. And this one I thought was really cool. This one's from the Dollar Tree workbook I had in my haul. It says, I can hear, and you circle what you can hear. So we're going to be talking about the five senses. So I thought this was really, really cute. And he could circle them, or he could put a pom-pom on it, and you could do whatever you want. Um, it doesn't have to be um, a specific way. I mean, if your son likes erasers, or if your son likes pom-poms and colorful things and soft things, they like uh, sensory things, you could do that. My son loves to circle with a dry erase marker. And this one is I Can Touch. 
This one's I Can Smell. I just think it's so cute. And I can taste. And the thing, I, the reason why I like using the Dollar Tree workbooks lately is that I don't have to use my paper and ink and um, I just rip it out of a workbook and then I could switch things up the next month. So it's a little more easier. I thought this would be cute with him. What pictures go together? Very simple, just four little rows. And this is a good way for him to learn putting the numbers together and doing dots to dots. We're just starting to do this, so it will be a challenge, but I think it's cool because he'll be able to count while we do this together and create like a little turtle. So that's neat for the spring and summer. This one is from Bob Jones University book. I think it's for kindergarten and my daughter and my son are obsessed with this. I don't know what it is, but it's just one candle and a birthday cake. Whenever we have a book or a workbook with birthday cakes, they love it. So they just fill in all of the candles pertaining to that. And it's really cool to see his little eyes go over to this little candle and to see, oh, they have one. Oh, there's two. And he colors it in with a dry erase marker. I don't know, but my son and my daughter... <laughs> seems to really really love this so if there's anything that you can make on your own or find where they fill in a candle or they'll fill in a cookie for a cookie jar i don't know they seem to like things that are sweet <laughs> tasting and that they could actually like color in with a dry erase marker all right so this is from the dollar tree workbooks that i have in my haul you can see that these are well loved <laughs> laminates um Hickory Dickory Duck. I like this because you could sing Hickory Dickory Duck, the nursery rhyme, and he could go through the maze with his fingers or with the dry erase marker. There's some more on the back, so I could flip it over to refresh it. And then this is Race to the Finish Line. He loves cars, um, so this is a fun one. And then, like I said, there's nursery rhymes on a couple more pages that I could just change out. I also wanted to do greater and less than with him, and this is just greater than and um, he gets the concept, but I thought it'd be fun using little pictures. And then I have, I'll have this in his little um, book, in the little pouch. And it's a little um, clothespin that I colored green, and it looks like a little alligator. So we can work on which is greater. He could circle, or um, he, or he could just use this. And so which one's greater, the whale or the three fish? And then we could. Just use this and say chomp, chomp, chomp. That's what we usually do at the house. So two pieces of bread or four cupcakes. And then he could say chomp, chomp, chomp and eat them all up. So I thought this was really fun. It's so like on a budget. But, you know, this is what my channel is all about. Just showing you guys what you can use from the Dollar Tree or print online and create on your own. Um, I do love the Velcro books that I had at the beginning. Um, I probably will probably make one for the summer for him. This one's just going to be for the spring for another few more months and then um, go straight over to our summer and maybe I'll make that one a little bit more hands-on. This one I love from the Dollar Tree again and I think these books are there now and I'm going to have him trace the numbers. He loves tracing numbers and then he has to match them up with a line. So that one would be fun to do. Sorry I'm using my camera vlog style because I tried to put it on top and it was um, a lot of reflection because of these sheets. So this one um, is the rhyming sheet from the good old Dollar Tree and they have these there still I'm sure. And I love um, I love how he, how he learns how to rhyme with these and it's so cute to see him figure these things out. So it's a really fun way to rhyme, B and key. You could put little pom-poms or erasers on them to match them, or you could circle them with a marker. And then last but not least, I found this in one of our workbooks from School Zone Publishing. It's from that big, huge, like, kindergarten or preschool binder, or preschool workbook. But I love the, I love the little illustrations with the lowercase letters. And um, I have this little Ziploc bag here, which is, I could easily put it in the pencil couch pencil pouch that's in the front but I chose to do it here and tape it we'll see how long it lasts I pulled out two of the same letters so um you could use anything like Melissa and Doug magnets or whatever you have like available to you you don't have to like buy these little these are just little um foam letters that I got from a teacher a retired teacher so I'll just have him match it up so H says huh and he can match the uppercase letters with the lowercase letters and I thought that would be really fun for him. And X goes with X-ray. 
and making the phonics sounds for him. I just thought it would be a cool little last activity. This will be the little reward for him to do at the end if we finish it or not. And that is it, you guys. I hope this is um, helpful for you guys so that you guys can put some stuff together in a very budget-friendly type of a way. It doesn't take a lot to make my little kids happy. <laughs> and especially when you're homeschooling or doing preschool at home or taught school, it's really, really fun to use your creative juices and just put stuff together that you want them to learn. And I don't have it in any specific order where there's all math in one and all alphabets in one. I kind of like put it... Um, Put different things throughout so it wouldn't get boring and it would be more interesting so that is it you guys I hope you guys like my little toddler binder and I will try to do one for the summer and um, hopefully it'll be a little more detailed as far as like maybe making my own velcro um, sheets from some stuff that I have um, or I printed offline and that is about it guys thank you so much for watching mama schmooze reviews I will see you guys in my next video. Carrot, carrot, carrot right on his horn. Ha ha. Tricked. You got it, bud. They tricked Good me. job. I found the carrot. Oh my goodness. Because I saw the little spot. That is tricky. That's a tricky carrot. You found the tricky carrot. Everybody, you're tricking me. Ha ha. Can't trick me. I'm the best girl. <laughs> hey, found a lollipop. Good job, Bubby. You did all those two. Is that a number two or is that a number one? Number two. Number two? I found a lollipop. I found a lollipop. Maybe next week we'll do the number well, I three. I found a lollipop in that. Wow, a lollipop in... This oh, is the page we did together. Can you find the two on this page? Yeah, remember we put the stickers on here? Can you find me four donuts? Can you find me the four donuts? Where's the four donuts? They're yummy donuts. One, two, three, donut, four. Donut, and that's the number four. Oh my Can you find me? Lollipops. Oh my gosh, how many lollipops? Donut. One, two, three, four. McDonuts? Four. Lollipops? There's four and lollipops? Or one. Two. Are those? Three. Sea star lollipops? Those are the lollipops you guys got, remember? No, I got way more lollipops. I got this one. Yeah, and then Sissy's looks a little bit. I can hear and I can touch. Which ones can he... Look, which ones can you hear? Which ones are musical? Which ones can you... Can you circle the ones you could hear? Circle that one because you could hear it. Circle. Which which other one can you hear? Which one makes noises? Well, I hear that. You hear the elephant? Yeah. What other ones can you hear? Tweet, 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 tweet. What about that whistle? Do you hear the whistle? Anyways, guys, I just wanted to show you like a little glimpse of our little um, toddler learning hey, don't binder. Worry. I can wash it for you too. No! Let him do it. He wants to do it, Bubba. And then the thing with this is that um, kids love erasing the dry erase marker. It's so like therapeutic and relaxing. Oh, I think that's an M, Bubba. I think it's an M for um, ma ma moon. Can you say ma ma? Ma. What's the moon? The moon. Oh. The lowercase m. And that's the uppercase m. Yeah. So put it on top of the moon. There you go. Now can you find another... Put it on top of the hill. Because we're going to match them up. I thought that'd be fun. Can you find another uppercase letter? <gasps> yeah, you found the X. X for what? X for what? X-ray. <laughs> can you say the X on? X. X. He said, X. X way. <laughs> That's such a funny sound, isn't it? <laughs>